And as cases increase in Vigo County, this evening Demetrius Sanders spoke with local health officials. He joins us now with what they say about the county's outlook as the pandemic continues. Demetrius. Mike, with another spike in cases being reported the past week, I spoke with Vigo County's health educator who says they are seeing a trend with COVID-19 numbers locally. On Monday, the Vigo County Health Department reported that the total number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in the county since the start of the pandemic reached 306. This includes 38 cases reported the past week, the highest one week total the county has seen. Seems like we've been going kind of on a trend where we'll go up, we'll reach a peak of cases then we'll trend back down and then we'll peak back up. Elder also says many of the cases recently being reported in the county involve those showing symptoms. Sore throat, diarrhea, cough, fatigue, anything that you could have as a cold or flu symptom are symptoms that we're seeing of COVID-19. This month, the Vigo County School Corporation confirmed that two students, both connected to Terre Haute South, contracted the virus. While the elderly remain some of the highest at risk, Elder says Vigo County is seeing younger people become ill. We're not seeing as many children and teenagers being hospitalized, but the cases that we've been having recently, even in the teens and early 20s, they're very sick. One of the tools that is being used to help reduce further spread in the county is contact tracing. Our contact tracers work so hard to make sure that they've crossed every T and dotted every I. They're really diligent about trying to get all the information they can. An elder says in some instances they have had struggles with individuals sharing information with contact tracers, and she warns that preventing a public health service could have legal ramifications. We've already talked to our prosecutor. You have to tell us this information because it's important for us to know who you've been around so we can make sure we stop the spread of the virus. Now, Elder also encourages the community to practice safety and health measures while traveling across state lines. She says even if you are visiting family, oftentimes these are new contacts which could spread the virus. Mike.